we imagine the smell of spring, honeysuckle, sandalwood, jasmine, just a few of the scents that come to mind. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we're capturing our favorite fragrances by mixing our own candles with the owner of Workshop PGH, Kelly Malone and Hillary Penagar, their lead teacher. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. yeah, sure. So tell us how you got started mixing candles. It, it goes back to your childhood, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have uh, just have such nostalgia around scents. Mm -hmm. Um, and I used to go out with my grandma to different like produce places all the time. She'd always like teach me how to squeeze a melon, make sure it's fresh, all that good stuff. Um, and just spending time with her in the garden. So uh, I started a candle line um, that I've been doing on and off for about 20 years. Uh, just making like really fun, like citrusy and fruity and kind of like nostalgia smells that take you back. What I love that you're doing at Workshop PGH is you're offering people a way to explore some things that they might like want to dabble in, want to learn a little bit about. And so you actually did a candle workshop and this happened on May 31st, but you're doing another one coming up, right? Or April, uh, March 31st. Yes, we're doing another one Thursday, May 9th. Right. You can sign up on our website, but we teach all kinds of different classes from fiber arts to woodworking mm -hmm. to things with plants. We love to dabble, we love to learn, we love yeah. to share it with other people. Well, speaking of <laughs> teaching, uh, you're gonna teach Heather and I to uh, mix a candle here, right? I sure I am. So because that's the plan. I love a good candle. <laughs> I really <laughs> do, yeah. yeah. Mm. All right, so you have wax that's already, and this is a soy base? Is yeah, this right? is mm -hmm. a soy base wax. It's yeah. great because it's both affordable and really sustainable. You can also make paraffin wax or coconut mm. wax candles, but soy is like right in the middle of being perfectly affordable and really easy to work with. So you've melted that down and we already have our jars ready to go. You've already put in our wick. Yep, we got our wick glued in and then we used a wax warmer. You can also use a double boiler or just like a pot on the stove. There's mm -hmm. also kits where you can microwave the wax. But we've got it all melted down. I'm going to pour some in for you. We okay. had it warmed up enough that it melted and then we let it cool off a little bit. It should be around like 150 Ooh. or so degrees it looks right It's like now. vegetable oil. It yeah. does. <laughs> and it has a reason, nice yeah. smell to it already. The reason you do it in a separate cup is because when you want to mix around the oil, right? Yeah. So now you're going to choose your oils, your fragrance scent. Yeah, we oh. were looking at these earlier and we kind of already had our eye on <laughs> a couple <laughs> of scents. I picked yeah. up basil and citrus. And I went with desert mm -hmm. skies and cactus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are both like such lovely fresh scents for spring, summer. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is you can either use the pipette in there and do about three pipettes into your oil. Three or, full. Yeah, okay. three full pipettes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what they say whenever you're making candles is you want about 7% fragrance right? oil. Yeah, that's yeah. great. And you'll do three One. of that. And if you do too much, it is not good. Like you think, oh, this will be better if yeah, I put yeah, more. No. It is not better. A little too intense. It oh, I wish better. I wish everyone could smell this. Mm -hmm. It's it smells amazing. I know. Still Everything working on so the center fragrant. vision. Yeah. That would be great. Um, I was just at a panel with a bunch of women and we were talking about how then it we get it up. lost in life and lose kind of what makes us happy. Like the in the things that bring us joy outside of family and work and mm -hmm. all that stuff. And so workshop PGH really allows you to explore some of those things that you might want to be interested in. Yeah, yeah. I think learning is a lifelong process mm -hmm. and there's so many things to learn and it just brings joy and it makes your brain really happy. Right, and yeah. I'm assuming you get to do this with friends or you know, yeah, just a group of people. It's great with friends, mm -hmm. family. We get a lot of people to meet just new people. Here. Yeah, yeah, great way to meet people well, too. Tell us about some of the uh, workshops that you have coming up and other activities that you offer. Yeah, so uh, actually we're really excited. We're gonna launch some new we candles from our candle line on Sunday, but um, our big yearly plant sales is Sunday. And we basically fill both sides of our warehouse with uh, vendors, mm -hmm. over a thousand plants. We've even got some like plant-based food pop-ups. Um, we have DIY, you can make terrariums, you can repot your plant, there's ceramicists. It is just uh, an overwhelming amount of fun plant spring mm -hmm. and just enjoyable stuff. And like all of our events, um, our public events where there's shows like this, it's free. Mm -hmm. uh, you can bring your puppies, you can bring your kiddos. Oh, and awesome. it's just really fun. And we have little stations so you can kind of like get a sampling of what it's like to make stuff, see some of our projects and just kind of like play in the space or just 
pick out some cute plants. I think we should great. all go. We should all yeah, go. Should Girls, yeah. thank you. I'm going to put one of these it. stickers yeah, on yeah, this yeah. Yeah. here. <laughs> and thank you so much for coming Thanks on. For and Thanks us. for having us. Thanks for having us. If you're interested in signing up for any of the classes and events at Workshop PGH or checking out the plant sale that's coming weekend, we're going to have more information on our website. And right now, we're heading over to the kitchen.